Welcome back everybody to the Pokemon Soul Silver playthrough. This is part six, and we're gonna be doing uh, more battles. Oh, hello. Brand new Pokemon here, Mareep. Okay, that's kind of a long-winded intro there. Could you please stop bouncing around in battle? <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, there was this, oh crap. Well, that Nidoran didn't have Poison Point, but this Mareep has Static, so now Red Ranger's paralyzed, great. And so it's gonna use Growl so that I do even less damage. Yeah, you know what, thanks for that. This, this, this battle's gonna take forever, and that's pretty much why it's sped up. Friggin' Mareeps. I do like Mareep, though. Mareep. A little Mareep, and it keeps, uh, you know, uh, baing. And friggin' stop being paralyzed! God's sake, it, it, like, ugh. Not only is it spamming Growl to make this battle take forever, but I'm also paralyzed a bunch of times. Oh, there we go, yeah! Rage all over him, Red Ranger. Now, what am I doing here? Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm catching a Mareep. One shake, two shakes, three shakes, and my shakes bring all the Mareeps to the yard. Yes, we got ourselves the third Pokemon, not counting the egg, because I, I pushed it over. Go away, egg. <laughs> the wool Pokemon. All right, then. Oh, okay, then. All right, so interesting information. Now, what the heck am I going to call this Mareep? Now, I was going to call it something different originally, but I decided to go with a little something along the lines of Citizen Zap. Yeah, Futurama reference. Uh, I originally had not chosen a, uh, aw, oh, now I feel bad. Well, let's not run then. Well, anyway, uh, I'll get to that in just a second. I actually did want to mention, though, or show off that it just got sunnier. <gasps> Grasp. Anyway, so yeah, I think it's, um, I think it was now 8 o'clock in the, uh, uh, game time. So yeah, it got a little brighter outside. And so, um... I actually had two different nicknames for it, and I hadn't really decided on one. My original, uh, my original uh, idea was to go with the name Sir Zaps a lot, but then as I was typing in the name, I realized, oh, it's a female. Yeah, that's not really gonna work so well. So I decided to go with Citizen Zap. I love that. Citizen Snips. All right then. So anyway. Magikarp battling time. This is the first battle with a fisherman and the first battle with Magikarp. Wow. Yeah, I decided to keep Mareep out at first because, well, you know, Magikarp is... All it does is splash. But I actually did not know about Magikarp's kind of high defense. So tackle wasn't really working so well. So I decided to switch out. So share the EXP. Share the share that gosh darn exp. Oh boy, ten. Wow, that's uh, generous. You know, now I think he actually does like he has a bunch of level five magic cards. One of them is actually level fifteen. Oh, there it is. Oh, fancy, convenient enough. But since it's level fifteen, it should know a special move. <gasps> special? Well, not it's not really so special, but it actually makes magic a little less useless. Oh, what the heck? It's tackle. Uh, anyway, while this ridiculousness is going on, I might as well just read off some more information. Um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver can access the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection and are also fully compatible with Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. After completing a special Wi-Fi mission download on Pokemon Ranger Path of Light, the player can send a Deoxys to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alrighty then. Oh, so now it's going to use Tackle on me, are you? Now you better just keep splashing. I like the noise for splash. I think it's hilarious. Like, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> anyway. Um, interestingly enough, I learned this uh, some time ago. That splash was actually not called splash in the um, in the Japanese version. It was called something different. It was called, oh, hop. That's what it was called. Yeah, hop. And... Interestingly enough, well, you know, they decided since Magikarp was the only Pokemon that actually had it in the first generation, um, they just decided to call it Splash. But then that kind of caused a problem when other Pokemon, such as, well, Hopip, got Hop as well. Well, it doesn't really work out so well, does it? Because it's not splashing anything if it's out in the grass. Anyways, 
So now I'm going to use some potions here, because that was one heck of a grueling battle. Friggin' unbelievable. Actually, I don't think I used the potion since, um, Lettyba's battle with Mareep. I definitely, I had to catch that Mareep, because it was just giving Lettyba such a hard time. I just knew that, man, this Mareep can give anybody a hard time. Hey, a Poliwag! Awesome. Okay, well then that's different. At least it's not a po a Pokemon. What? Not a Magikarp. And no, we don't want Hypnosis. Um, oh, crap, that's not really doing much. Yeah, might as well just switch. Yeah, I was kind of in a bind here because, well, uh, Lettyba and Marie both... Oh, shoot. They both have kind of crappy attacks, and, you know, Kolava is a, is a fire type, so, yeah, I was kind of pressed here. Okay, so he's going to use Water Sport. Yeah. I, you know, I, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but Water Sport and Mud Sport are basically only useful in double battles. Because there's really no reason for Water Types to actually use it if it's going to be a single battle. Who is going to bring out a Fire Type against a Water Type? Come on! Man, show me some different moves. All right, so speaking of moves, spamming Comet Punch. I really wish it... Uh, I wish it would hit, like, m more often than not five times. Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right, so knocking out that Poliwag. That took kind of a while. Oh, and another level up for Citizen Zap. Or was that the first level up? Crap, now I can't remember. Oh, well, it leveled up. That That's all we, that we need to know. All right, so here we go again with another Poliwag. I think I sped this up because, well, you know, it's a it's a Poliwag, and I already fought one of those some some time ago. I, I don't know when. Uh, oh, okay. So now I decide to pull out Quilava. Oh, I'm being a little daredevil here, even though I know that it has what? Oh, oh shoot, that's not good. Even though I knew that it had Bubble. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's what that that's what those items are for. They're for using oh no. Oh. Wow, that hardly did anything. A die you! <laughs> Alrighty then. Fair oh wow, man. Citizen Zap! You're gaining levels like crazy. Alright. Very nice. Splash. No, no, Splash isn't gonna save you, I fear. No. Interest I oh, what do you think of that Citizen Zap? Oh. Okay, well then I see how it is. Uh Citizen Zap doesn't trust me yet, but that's okay. I'm really good at... Well, you know what? We'll just have to see then, Mr. Mr. the Fisherman guy. Fisherman Ralph. I know a guy named Ralph. He's pretty awesome, and he's good at Mario Kart Wii. And other assorted games. But that's neither here nor there. This is level 10, Goldeen. What am I doing? Oh, okay. I think I was... Um, if I, Yeah, I think I was basically baiting it to hit me. So that I could use, um, that one fancy, or not, not the, the effect, ah, static. So that static would hit it. Because I don't really have Thunder Wave or anything. There we go, now I got you, you little fish. Think who you are with your lipstick and your eyeliner and your... Does it have eyelashes? I can't tell. No, I don't think so. Anyway. Why do, why does Goldine have lipstick on? How does it put the lipstick on? <laughs> Alrighty then. So, ah, I'm gonna spam Comet Punch then. You know what? I'm gonna read some more stuff. Uh, the development of Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver. Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver were released in 2009, 10 years after Gold and Silver were released for the Game Boy Color. Well, talking about in Japan anyway. Shigeki Morimoto, the game's director, commented on the development of the remakes, saying, The first thing that I knew I needed to bear in mind was to respect the feelings of those who'd played Gold and Silver 10 years before. I think that players have very strong memories of the game. So they think like, so they think things like, ah, this trainer is still strong, and if I do this here, this is going to happen. I knew I needed to respect those feelings. All right then. So apparently, Citizen Zap was in a bit of a bind. I could hear it going, da ding, da ding, da ding. <laughs> Anywho's, so I'm just gonna use Fireball to finish this off. Hopefully, I don't. Uh, wait, why? Why did I? Oh, I, I think I was certain that Tackle wasn't going to beat it in one hit. Okay, then fine. You just use Tail Whip. I'll just use Lyra. Jerk. Lady. Wait, actually, that's a male Goldeen. 
Why does the male Goldine have lipstick, Mommy? I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're not my Mommy, you're Jane! Anyway. Alrighty then, so that's it for Ralph. Ah, uh, yeah, he tried to rush things. Ralph, you are quite the, f the, the quick kind of person. Oh well. Yeah, no phone number. Oh, well that... Oh, that's kind of... That's actually kind of sad. His own kids won't even give them their phone numbers. Or him, their phone numbers. That's actually makes you feel bad. Anyway, uh, let's not... F oh, that was Red Ranger that was in trouble. Oh, because he had... Uh, Golding had Peck. What the heck was I thinking bringing Lediba out? Ugh, anyway. I love this, though, how this guy's like, Oh, I found some Pokemon in the grass, but all he has is one Wooper. Ugh. Wooper? Wooper? Listen to me, Wooper. Go home, Wooper. Anyway. Ah, that's such a great video. So, <laughs> Wooper. Ah, uh, Wooper, Wooper, Wooper. Half ground, so it's immune to electricity. But, you know, it, you know, even though Citizen's App doesn't really have any electric-type attacks as it is. Oh, boy. Hopefully that won't do too much. Er, it kind of did, but you know what? We're just going to keep on going. And it's going to do it again. Thanks. What about the water gun just like, comes out of the top of its head? That's that's not where water comes from, I'm, I'm afraid. Ah, no, that's bad! Are you kidding me? I was just kind of sitting there... <clears throat> with my jaw sort of on the floor and I had to pick it up before I decided to pull out Red Ranger. Are you kidding me? Like, he didn't do that the whole battle until it was just enough to finish Mareep off. Ah! So first fainting of the game, or of the playthrough I should say. Ah. Uh, yeah, you know what? Don't even, don't even talk to me, okay? You fainted my Mareep, and I'm very upset about this. Now, oh, never mind. I guess I didn't take the time to talk to any people on the streets. Street. On the dirt path, I should say. Yeah. Ah, uh, I can't get over that. If if only I had known that it had Mudshot. Interestingly, though, what was that? It was Mudshot. No, Mud Slap was actually what you get from Faulkner originally. Ah, okay, so it actually says something fancy. Oh, because Mareep was the first uh, member of my party, so that's why it said that. D uh, wait, what? No, I don't, I, I don't want any of that, mister. That's just rude. Why, why would you have a Slowpoke's tail? That's just, no. Well, why do you have to do that to, to the Pokemon? You jerk. And try to sell it for one million dollars. God. Um... But yeah, Mud Slap was actually what you get from Faulkner originally in Gold and Silver. Oh, hey, I'm Mareep. So this will be like a mirror match. And now this time around, he gives you Roost. I actually would have appreciated Mud Slap a bit more, but... Yeah, well, Roost is pretty good, I guess. There are a heck of a lot of TMs. I mean, especially in comparison to the first couple of generations. There was only ever 50 at a time. Now there's like 100. And the HMs, which have also gone up in number. Yeah, I had to speed this up because this was... I mean, just look at this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. This Mareep obviously does not have static. It has a different, uh, uh, friggin' ability. That's it. I was trying to think of what it is. You know what? Let's go ahead and look up what it might be. And at the same time, let's get Bullet Seed! Although I don't have any grass Pokemon. Crap. Uh, no. Apparently, the only thing it can get is static. Oh, okay. So then I've got, I guess I got pretty gosh darn lucky that I didn't get paralyzed. Well, Mareep, anyway. Anyway, that's it for this part of the Soul Silver playthrough. Join me in part seven, where we'll be doing more stuff and asking Mareep, what do you think of that? He dancing around. Ah, all right then. Well, Mareep's happy. So if Mareep's happy, then I'm happy. See you all next time.